Jayallday.com. All right, so I know a lot of you got basketball tryouts coming up. A lot of you want tips. What can I do to make the basketball team? How do I impress the coaches? How do I get noticed? How do I get the exposure? What do I have to do? What do coaches look for when I make for me to make the team? So let me tell you all this. I'm gonna give you three tips on what's gonna get you on the basketball team, what's going to impress the coach, and make you make a memorable impression on that coach, him or her, for your upcoming basketball season. For those who don't know me, my name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day. My background is I came from getting cut from the high school team three years in a row. I finally made it as a senior, made the team, didn't play much, walked on in college, played one year in college at a small school, got recruited, ended up at a D3, finished my career at a D3, went on to play overseas basketball, played in eight different countries over the last 10 years, and here I am on YouTube, over 4,000 videos. But anyway, this video ain't about me. Just wanna give you that background before I give you this information. Three things that get you on the basketball team. Number one, this is the most important thing, and this is the only thing you remember from this video, remember this. You had to get in your proper mental state in order to perform at your best level. What does that mean, Dre? What do you mean proper mental state? Your proper mental state is what is the best mind state for you to be in, for you to perform at your highest level. That includes several things. Number one, what is the story you're telling yourself about the situation? Tryouts. Do you feel like you can make the team? Or are you are do you already have this preconceived notion that the coach already knows who he wants and he's not picking up anybody new? Or I'm not gonna get picked because I'm small, or I'm not gonna get picked because I'm not tall enough, or I'm not gonna get picked because I'm not strong enough, or I'm not gonna get picked because I can't make three pointers because I can't dunk. If you're telling yourself those stories as if this is a waste of time because I'm not gonna make it anyway you're not in your proper mental state. If you're telling yourself stories that the coach isn't looking for any new players, that's not your proper mental state. Your proper mental state is the mindset that you get in that allows you allows you to unlock and access your top skills. Any of you seen the movie Wolf of Wall Street? Last week, that actual guy named Jordan Belfort, I saw him speak in Miami. And one of the things he said is that when you're in, when you're in a positive mind state, your proper mind state, that allows you to access all of your abilities as a human being. When you're in a negative mind state, you're basically blocking yourself from accessing your abilities. So basically, let's put it this way. If you're a great basketball player, but you're in a negative mind state, you won't be able to access your full, your full bag of skills. But when you're in a positive mind state, you can do things that you didn't even know you could do because you're in such a positive mind state, you are unlocking all your skills. So it's basically like a lock on a locker. When you're in a positive mind state, the lock's unlocked. When you're in a negative mind state, it's locked, and you can't figure out the combination because all your mind is thinking about is the negativity. So the number one thing you need to do is get yourself in a proper mind state to perform at your best. What is your proper mindset is different for each one of you. Every single one of you watching this video, you have a proper mindset. Some people play best when they get angry. Some people play best when they're feeling completely joyous and everything is perfect and they just got this really positive happy mindset some people play best when they're not thinking about anything their mind is a complete blank and they're just zoned out and just focused on the game each one of you has to find what your proper mindset is in the same way that you need to work on your handle and your jump shot you need to work on your mentality because with the proper mentality you'll be able to access all the skills and without that mentality you can have all the skills in the world you won't be able to access them when it matters number two do what you can do. If you are not a three-point shooter and you catch the ball at the three-point line, you're wide open, you do not have to shoot it if you're not a three-point shooter. Because guess what's gonna happen if you shoot it anyway? You're gonna shoot an air ball or this nasty looking brick and the coach is gonna think to himself, this guy doesn't know his own limitations. He doesn't know what he's good at. He doesn't know what he's bad at. There's no way I want him on my team. I can't trust this guy. I would never put him in, in on the court in a big game because he's going to do something stupid, try to do something he can't do, and he's going to cost us the game. That's what you're saying to the coach if you try to do something you're incapable of at tryouts. You're not a shooter. You don't have to shoot a jump shot. You're wide open doesn't mean you have to shoot. You can dribble it in towards the basket if you want to shoot it. You can back it out and pass it to someone else. You can pass and cut, set a screen, play to your strengths. If you're a rebounder, grab rebounds. If you're a shooter, shoot jumpers. If you're an athletic player, do athletic things. Don't try to go outside of yourself just to prove you can do something that somebody else did or what you think the coach is thinking or what some player on TV who you idolized did. You're not them. You have to be you. Play to your strengths. So whatever you're good at, 
Put yourself in a position to do those things and those things only. The coach is not worried about saying, whoa, he can't do this. He can't do that. The coach is looking for what you can do. Fo don't focus on your negatives. Don't focus on what you're missing. Focus on what you have and display those assets on. Put them on full display. Whatever you're best at, put that on full display. Number three, fundamentals, hustling, setting screens, playing good positional defense, running up and down the court when you're sprinting back on defense, making sure you're in the right position on offense, being in proper position on defense, communicating with your teammates, rebounding, boxing out, being an unselfish player. I've never in my life, those things that I just mentioned, never in my life heard a coach complain about a player doing any of those things. I've heard coaches complain that a player loafs on defense, doesn't box out, doesn't pass the ball, is always looking to shoot, is a selfish player, doesn't communicate with his teammates, not in the right position on defense, doesn't try hard when he starts to get beat off the dribble. These are the things that coaches hate, and those are the things that will get you cut from the basketball team. But all those first things I mentioned, a coach never complains, hey, you're hustling too much. I challenge any player on here to tell me a coach ever told them, yo, you're hustling too much. Hey, you're playing defense too well. Why are you always in proper position on defense? Stop doing that. Stop being so unselfish. The coach might tell you to stop being so unselfish, but it's a positive thing. Like, okay, look for your shot now. But players playing unselfishly, that's what basketball is. Any coach wants a player who plays unselfishly. Any coach wants a player who hustles, who boxes out, who knows where to be on defense, who communicates with his teammates, who's a positive teammate, a positive role model for everyone else, who has leadership qualities, which means you lead by example, which means you perform first and you talk second. You can't tell people what to do until they know that you know what you're doing. You don't have to talk. Lead by example by doing the proper thing. So these are the three things to recap that you need to do to make the basketball team. Number one, most important, find out what your proper mental state is. And when it's time to perform, when it's time for those tryouts, you get in that mental state. Whatever you need to do. If you need to talk to somebody, you need to watch a YouTube video, you need to listen to some music, you need to read a magazine, you need to read a book, you need to pray. Whatever you need to do to get in that proper mental state, if you can do that, that'll unlock all the game you have. Without that proper mental state, your game is locked up in a safe and you won't be able to do anything. Number two, play to your strengths. Whatever you're good at, do that and only that. Don't worry about what you can't do. Focus on what you can do. Number three, fundamentals. Hustling, playing hard, playing unselfishly, making the extra pass, being in the right place on defense communicating with your teammates, being a positive player. All of those things are things every coach in the world wants. Some people ask me, hey, what does, what does a coach look for at trials? Coaches don't look for crossovers and jump shots and slam dunks and somebody who has an extra 20 pounds of muscle because those are all variable. There might not be anybody in the gym who can do those things. But those qualities I just listed, every coach wants those. And if you display those, plan to your strengths, and then you're in your proper mental state, I guarantee you will make the basketball team. Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. Work on your game. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you check back next week on the same day to catch another off the court video. All my most popular content you can find up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks over here and make sure you are subscribed to catch all my new content coming on this channel every single day. Work on your game.